Well, got the last wood delivery back in in right now. And yeah, it's quite a bit of wood. And uh, the longer stuff I'll probably get another time. Kind of canceled that for now. There's the last load. Still got to go restack it all. <laughs> okay, so back to doing some work. I packed all this down quickly with the loader this morning. But got to move all that wood. As you guys can see in the background, there is a new house going up over there now. And of course, there's one that went up last year right there. Kind of regret not buying those houses, or houses, the lots when they were for sale. But, yeah. Time to get the trailer. And hopefully get all that nicely stacked before the crazy thunderstorm hits. Uh, the loader starting to make noise now in second gear, probably first gear too, but I mean, it's hard to hear with the noise of the diesel and the roller behind it, but, uh, maybe I'll give this a quick mow first. <laughs> Something is awfully rattly on this guy. This entire side of the bed. <laughs> And this trailer definitely needs a little TLC. <laughs> Wiring got ripped out of it. Uh, that was uh, years ago pulling a deer out of the bush. Uh, whipped far in the bush with this <laughs> to get a deer. But yeah, other than that, not too bad. Definitely need to turn up the idle on this guy. But uh, do that maybe another day. <laughs> well, time to get loading. I'm sure I'm going to have a weekend sooner or later with no rain, but just got the last board on that stack and it just came down like crazy. Uh, it's still raining right now, but it's not that bad, but it's about an hour of rain so far. But I just want to move the quad into position. That way I can do a little bit at a time. It's not raining that bad at all right now. But... Gotta move the old bowlins. Grab some more of that tin. Uh, I think I can adjust this all. I should have had that pile like a foot closer. And then I could have continued the tin in between. But I think I will still have enough tin. Uh, yeah, actually most of this is staying dry in there. So I might not actually have to worry. Yeah, it's actually looking pretty good. Got a couple blocks for the bottom there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, well, poor old trailer. Whoo! Chiangi! Oh, yeah. There, there goes the school bus. Now it would be the kid's last day of school. Oh, wait! Are we going to get a weekend without this? Like... <laughs> Come on! Yeah. That is crazy. Well, that's kind of a waste of Friday. Still raining all day. The wood was dropped off in the morning. Never got any of it. Well, I got the one by sixes put away, but not those. But wow. Well, I definitely think a hundred rough cut two by fours is a little bit of weight for this trailer. Yeah, especially going over that bump there. Went very slow. This trailer is probably never going to go back on the road, but oh well, yeah, the fenders are touching. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, quad suspension when I sat on it had like no suspension. <laughs> uh, it needs welding in that section right there. It's starting to uh, kick up a little bit. But that was before I loaded it up with this wood. But yeah, it definitely has a fair bit of weight. So, and I tried to even it out. But technically, all of that wood should have stayed tight with that wood. And it probably would have been okay. But meh. I only moved it, what, 50, 60 feet? <laughs> Time to create a new stack. Well... Loaders, transmission's almost completely gone. I say that actually, it's uh, still working, but it's starting to clunk. Uh, worse than that one. <laughs> but just stacked the rest of the wood here. Yeah, those are six by sixes. This is two by six. Those are one by sixes, and those are two by fours. So, 
that should be enough to start. Uh, a few of them probably will end up being just chopped up and used in pieces because, you know, Dodd one's not going to probably be the nicest, but I got uses for even those ones technically building shelves and stuff like that. But yeah, not too bad. So I just quickly gave the gas, gas, uh, grass a quick cut, tilled up another bed in the backyard, kind of gave that a quick measurement. And, uh, yeah, never cut any of this area, but did the trail, did the front yard, and, uh, pretty much all the gas in the entire yard now. Gotta go pick up some more gas. Oh, that was that windy. Not just anyone that cares, uh, had this guy's throttle cable itself jam up. This was filled with sand, not rust, sand, because they got it where all the sand drops right down the throttle cable, right into the tube. Yeah, you think they'd have this mounted reversed, but uh, not too big of a deal. I already got that all cleaned out. Just going to throw it all back together now and uh, till up a few smaller beds. Well, she started up first pull after doing the carb TLC. Seems to run good, but what's happening is shooting the dirt up here and it's landing right in the intake and right down that coil there. Is the throttle cable. So, I don't know if there's ever any way to fix that issue other than like putting maybe a marine grease in it, but a uh, rubber boot actually would be the way to fix it, like one of those rubber boots, but I mean, it worked. Just tilled up a couple little beds and everything's good, so still running this fuel in her. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pulled a tiller off this guy did a oh, a couple hours eh, maybe not a couple hours but a fair bit of tilling i see they got nuts and bolts on it instead of pins which is not too big of a deal i guess uh but the, yeah that tiller works freaking awesome nothing wrong with that attachment uh as for the mower deck i'm gonna have to do a oil change in the gearbox pop off the covers probably unbend that one sharpen the blades check all the spindles and uh maybe a mount the mower deck can give it a try now i know one of the mounting brackets on the bottom of the tractor is broken slightly it's uh not broken all the way through but i'm pretty sure it's going to be for the snowblower which would kind of suck but i'm not sure yet uh not too big of a deal if i can't use the snowblower because i got this guy and the sears but it would be nice to have a snowblower on this one that's for sure so uh i mean right now it's not broken all the way through but there's a chunk out of it uh pause and see if i could find okay so you guys see that bracket yeah so again not sure if that's the mower deck the snowblower you think would melt up front there uh so yeah pretty sure that's just for the mower deck and how that would happen i'm not too sure so but who knows well that was a little bit of a hassle so i know before that this bolt missing for that support there but looks like she might need a seal soon i had it just when i put it here before i propped it up with wood it looks like it started to drip but at the same time that's probably to be expected but makes me wonder how much oil is actually in it. <laughs> uh, bolt missing here. But, well, is she pretty damn heavy duty in there? A couple uh, branches stuck in her. Lots of branches stuck in the middle there. Now, is that oil in there? Mm, there might be some oil in between there. Maybe not, but yeah, pretty heavy duty tiller, that's for sure. <sighs> That's all I want to do really today is take off the tiller. Uh, maybe I'll use this guy to pull around uh, the trailer. I got a couple balls I could toss on her. Now the other option that I'm still tempted to do is put on that mower deck. But before I even do it, I'm going to look about getting, because that's cast iron, that plate that's broken. I'm going to go look and see where it mounts and uh, see if it is possible to get a replacement. Oh, that's a heavy ass deck, but 
I just noticed I got rear hydraulic hookups on this guy. Huh. Cool. So it has front hydraulic and rear hydraulic. Huh. There's a backhoe for sale, but the guy wants $4,000 for the backhoe attachment. And it's actually for a John Deere, but I know it's the same model for this guy, but a couple brackets would have to be changed. But that'd be kind of cool, backhoe. But no, nah, I can't spend that kind of money. <laughs> I got the deck on her. Seems to work fine. Might have to adjust a few things, but seems to be pretty quiet. I never greased it yet. in a few minutes uh, because I still need to grease the spin nose uh, and a few other things huh. makes it a little bit easier to get on and off it but it's probably not good to stand on it I still have to play around with the height adjustment and everything but wow that mower deck's a beast on that thing <laughs> that is a pretty big mower deck not sure if you can compare it to what was on the Sears but that's good that it works. And freaking heavy, uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I might even be able to get, get away with sharpening the blades without removing it. Just driving on the ramps. Huh. That might be a good thing. Uh, I still wonder if that snowblower will fit. <laughs> I'll have to play with that. But there's the other Boland stick I got underneath that Sears one there. Uh, so yeah, what I got to do next week is check the gearbox on the deck. Make sure that's... Uh, has some uh, ear oil in it. And other than that, sharpen the blades, grease all the spindles, and uh, give it a try. Again, I never greased it, filled it up with oil, did any of that, because I just wanted to make sure I had everything to make it work. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're going to have a decent enough weekend that I could start working on this. Just started by bringing in a couple wheelbarrows. And, uh, got to level this all out. I got my cheater stick right there made. And, uh, just get everything to the right height. Then today's Canada Day, so I'll have to go pick up the cement powder tomorrow just to find out that when I called and asked if they carry it, they said yes, just to find out that they only have the premix stuff, most likely. But we'll see. Maybe they're right. Maybe it is pure concrete powder. <laughs> but, yeah. Was going to work on this guy a little bit more. Get the spindles all oiled up, greased up. But, I don't know. I think this is kind of more important. Whew. I'm a little sore now. It's not done yet. I still got to put some lines in for where the curb walls are going to go. Probably going to do a third piece of rebar. I'm not pouring that section yet. But, yeah. Still got some more rebar to put in there. Maybe a few more chairs. We'll see. Okay. So, basically, tomorrow morning, I just got to put some tie wire between the kickers for the curb wall. There's going to be a doorway here. And I might put a double set of rebar in the turn or corner here. I might double that one up. It's going to be a doorway here for in the future expansions. I think that's plenty of rebar for the curb wall. Technically, it would be holding the building, but sticker all that together in the morning and uh, probably pick up a few more of those guys. I don't think it needs it once that's in there. It's, I'm sure it's fine, but some areas is going to be wider, but you can see where the building's going to sit towards the end. So, I think it'll be good enough. I think that's plenty of rebar. <laughs> okay. Well, I just tried to do a quick concrete calculator. I don't know if I want to go four parts, five parts concrete. And I don't know how much I'll need. 
So I guess the best way to do is just buy plenty because I'm only pouring half right now. That other half will be later. So I'll probably get two truckloads of uh, concrete for now because I also got to do the top layer after. So, I mean, if it costs me 500 bucks to do this in concrete or it costs a thousand, it's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I got more than two yards of gravel there. Three, four... Uh, actually might be closer to five yards still there so i got plenty of gravel but it's off to do a little bit of a quad ride don't think i'll film anything but it's nice after working to go get some cool air <laughs> oh yeah i gotta put some gas in there oh mosquitoes are already starting to come out are you kidding me this is gonna suck oh. looks like it might be another weekend of nothing but rain are you kidding me Still gotta go get cement powder, not too big of a deal, but yeah, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Early morning, just deciding if I want to go get the cement powder. <laughs> well, it's officially raining, probably hard to see right now, but yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Left that flashlight there, and it's finally just about dead. Yeah, so the story with that flashlight is it was sitting in here, and it fell over, and I said to myself, that flashlight's, well, 15 years old, I unscrew it, and the batteries were leaking, like bubbling out, it's an old uh, Home Depot flashlight, I think. And a uh, 15-year-old battery, C-cell, I think it was, or D's, no C's. And, uh, yeah, started to leak after sitting that long. And uh, long story short is I shoved it back together and just threw it outside. And it's been running now for quite a while, like a week. It's now virtually dead, but still gives a couple feet of a uh, beam at night. Probably not anymore, but yeah, with it starting to rain, that's a bad time to go get some cement powder. Uh, but, I don't know. Cement not to be raining today. I still might go get it. Might just be a quick drizzle. And maybe I can get going on this project. Really? Just starting to rain again. I just come outside after it started drying up to unload the rest of these cylinders. Uh, yeah, I use these all year round. Gives great traction on the gravel roads. Otherwise, the back end kicks everywhere, but and it's starting to rain again. You're not going to help me move it? Uh. Here's the first batch here. I think the truck's sitting a little squatted in the back, but I mean, still has flat leaf springs. <laughs> I think she's on her bump stops, but I am on a hill going down. So, yeah, I'm gonna do one more load like this. Oh, I can see one thing that's gonna take all day. There's one spot here I purposely did it so it kicks out a little bit more because that's where the door is gonna go. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how well I trust to stand on this thing. <laughs> it's not loaded up yet, but wow. Well, again, I'm not really filming, but we got this side done, that side done up to there, and just switching back to here before this dries too much to continue going that way. Oh, and we're on the final stretch. <laughs> Last little bit. And it's completed. Well, the bottom layer, less the curb wall, so, yeah, it might not look the best, but it's going to work. Well, it's now the next day. It was nice and cool last night. And just giving it a couple waters today because it's meant to get high of plus 28. And again, this doesn't have to be smooth, as you can see by all the chunks of rebar. That's uh, where the building's actually going to sit. I'm going to be doing another curb wall, about four inches tall above it. And that's where I'm going to be getting my final level leveling. Uh, you can see how much of that gravel's left. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's 
So 37 bags of concrete went in here and that's pure concrete powder. They're all in the back of my truck there. So plenty of, uh, you can see, say deepness. So I think 37 is where I counted too. So that means that's uh, quite a few uh, buckets. Always like to wet the concrete flood the concrete you could say <laughs> stop it from cracking it's actually surprisingly uh, fairly level uh, seeing this is the very last area that we did here and that was already uh, the bugs were just out like crazy so <laughs> but yeah that's not too bad next week I'll finish digging all that out and we'll pour that also uh, maybe I'll do the curb wall up here first but I don't think I will well that's good enough for the water for now I'll do it again in a couple hours perhaps but yeah I'm a little sore after doing that I'm sure everyone else is too and now I guess I will get to working on the Bolins Gotta grease up all those spindles on her. And uh, as for the gear case, the center section, I don't know yet what I'll do with that. Well, I just greased all the spindles. I never checked the gearbox for oil yet. I'll do that soon, maybe. Uh, but yeah, greased her up and just cut the entire grass with her. And it didn't really need cutting, mind you, to grass, but she did good. Yeah, so no complaints there. I don't know how much fuel she drank. Ugh. Definitely should replace that cap before it drips onto the exhaust. Talking about the exhaust, open cherry bomb exhaust, driving forward to trees. Probably not a good idea, so I am going to have to change that. Oh, that's actually not bad. She used about an inch and a bit of fuel. I say cut the whole grass, but it was the trail, the front yard, not quite the whole thing, but that's actually not bad. But yeah, driving up to trees, brushes with the cherry bomb exhaust aiming out the front, not a good idea for cutting grass. So I will have to uh, change that. Temporary, I hammered a washer. I bent it first and then hammered a washer into here to limit the power steering from functioning and it seems to work pretty good so i guess that's where that's going to stay now or where i'm going to leave it i mean Ugh. but yeah all i can say way less turning radius this thing turns so easy that i gotta do three point turns in certain areas so huh i might be able to fix that issue when i fix the power steering possibly Ooh, be in front of my face but Okay, well, I think we're going to have the rest of the weekend as a lazy weekend. Not too sure yet. Yeah, I thought I might as well record a little bit anyway. <laughs> Checking out gold hunting grounds. It's only minutes from my house.
warm in a few seconds, but turn this off for now.